Hi folks, my name is Hermit in the Forest. This is my unboxing of Temple of Apshay. Well, this is one of the earliest role-playing games in existence. Um, featuring top-down view, but very simple. It is a dungeon crawl where you have to descend into the Temple of Apshay and uh, find treasure, combat foes, uh, gain experience and uh, improve your stats and stuff. Uh, you are starting your game um, in an inn where the innkeeper asks you several questions and you pick your stats, your equipment, armor, weapons and go on into a dungeon that has four levels uh, and you can uh, return during battling the in the dungeon back to the innkeeper uh, uh, where you uh, change experience for stats and stuff uh, this game was originally released in 1979 for TRS-80 and later it was ported to other, other platforms mm, IBM version was released 1982 okay let's take a look at the box art this game is also first of the Dungeon Quest uh, series of games from Epix. The first one, many other followed. It has two expansions. Upper Reaches of Epshay is the first and Curse of Ra is the second expansion. Now let's turn the box around and take a look at the back side for some info about the game and pictures from the game. And there are of course, of course other series in Dungeon Quest series as well. Hellfire Warrior and other ones for example. Yeah, here you can see picture from the game. As you can see it's very simple. Well, uh, let's open the box and take a look inside. So, first of all, we have a game disc, five and a quarter inches, inches one, with the game. Next, there is a registration card from the developer Epix. Next. There are loading instructions, how to load IBM version of the game. Next, here is a games catalog of Apex games. So you can so see some of the earliest games in existence here. Yeah, here are the expansions to Temple of Epshay, to the game I'm unboxing now. And other Dungeon Quest series games, Hellfire Warrior, Keys to, uh, of Acheron, Dungeon, Dynasty, and others. They are all, of course, similar in gameplay. Nice pictures here. I have to say. Okay, so that's the games catalog. Here are some requirements for those games. This is the back side of this catalog. Then there is a reference card with commands for IBM computers. And summary of play. Something 
or the story and of course there is a game menu that looks like this here are the credits take a look at the people who made this game table of contents Okay, how to use this book and introduction to the game characters and equipment characters from other games yeah you could in, um, import characters from other games to this one how to start playing yeah here is the innkeeper where you create your character and equip him Commands for movement and battle. Evaluating treasure, something about monsters. Here, some nice picture. Adventures of Brian Hammerhead Okay, so this is something enhancing the storytelling Looks like some le and the legend of the ruins of Apshay Now something about the monsters that you will encounter while playing this game And the traps present in the game and now here are uh, treasures of Apshay. Yeah, actually this works a bit like uh, SSI journals because actually there is only few info in the game itself. There was no place for it. So it's so a lot of story is written here in this manual. Yeah. So you enter room one. There is written nothing in the game, but you should open this manual and read what you see in the room one, and so on. Yeah. So you take a look at the screen. For example, it writes room fifteen. So you read in this manual room fifteen. What is in what is inside that room? So this enhances the gameplay, of course, because at the time of this game's release, the games were very small. Yeah. So room descriptions for level one, for level two, three, and finally level four. Of course, there are four levels, as I told you, in the dungeon in the temple. So this is it. Okay, this is the back side of the manual. And that is all that was in the box. I thank you very much for watching this video.